Hi guys, this is Tina. Welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to bring you a slightly different type of video today. Um, I was hugely inspired last weekend when I watched an absolutely lovely video from um, AOZ. Um, she was uh, just going for a stroll down to her local bookshop and the whole video was just so relaxed, so lovely just had a really kind of calming effect and it was just a oh, lovely lovely video so I wanted to do something similar myself so today I went to um, a localish bookshop um, it was somewhere here in West Sussex called Arundel um, the bookshop the bookshop um, itself it's in a beautiful kind of very old um, kind of crumbling building and it's set over about five different floors and it's just jam-packed full of, um, you know, second-hand books. It's just like an Aladdin's cave in there. I mean, some are obviously kind of newer than others, um, but there's some incredibly old books. Um, just kind of, you know, fun to go and have a rummage through, really. So the sun is shining um, today, or the sun was shining today, and we had a lovely day. We then tied it in with a lovely walk and things. So I only picked up two books um, from the actual shop um, itself, because I'm really trying to restrain myself at the moment. I'm really kind of overrun with um, supplies, so I really didn't need to kind of get anything too much. Um, also, they're quite pricey in that shop, because obviously a lot of their books are absolute treasures so I just picked up a couple so I picked up this gorgeous one um, ladybird book called songbirds and I picked up this one ladybird book of castles and again I just thought these images were really quite nice because they're kind of small so ideal for kind of making tags and tucks and things like that so I hope that you really enjoy sharing my day with me um, obviously the first part is kind of uh, just you know walking through Arundel itself and then um, you know kind of going into the lovely bookstore and then I've just added on a little bit of a walk that we did um, and a little bit at the end kind of around the lake obviously if you're not interested in that then you know feel free not to watch but um, I just thought I would kind of put it out there and you know try and share kind of what a lovely day that you know I've had today so thank you very much and I hope that you enjoy so thanks a lot then see you again soon bye Now this is my favourite section of this shop, it's all children's books here, absolutely tons and tons, gorgeous gorgeous books, instantly drawn to these, just on the coloured spines are they Rupert? in that one unfortunately Oops. it's not that easy holding the um <laughs> the camera and kind of unbalancing on my uh on my knees here so um 
obviously this wasn't apparent on Aoz's beautiful video that she did. <laughs> she wasn't kind of shaking and dropping off things, so uh, there's some gorgeous, gorgeous books. I don't know what that one is. Off to Fairyland. Thank you. Oh, that looks gorgeous. Look at the date on that. 18.99. So super old. I think it says Christmas. Christmas 18.99. It's 25 pounds. Let's have a look. Can you see the aged pages? Don't they look gorgeous? Quite a lovely image there with the swans. Beautiful book. I just have a look here because they sometimes put some real lovely finds here. Johnny Crow's Garden. Oops. Unbeknown to me, I think my camera might have been zoomed in. So this also is all children's books through here, which aren't they just gorgeous? Look at the tons and tons and tons. Absolutely lovely choice. Gorgeous. I could be in here for absolutely ages, but um. My husband and the children have literally just gone to park the car, so I haven't got that long. They just dropped me off to kind of walk down the street and kind of come in here and get a head start. So, uh, And then through here is all Ladybird books. Can you see that? So again, obviously kind of, um, you know, some are newer than, than others, but tons of beautiful vintage ones here. So here we've got a second book of British birds, isn't that lovely? So let's have a look. It's £4.50 this one. It's got those lovely images that you get in the Ladybird books. Again, I should have brought one of the um, boys with me really to to hold the, book, the um, camera because it's not easy to film inside the pages. Oh, look at this lovely book. So I put it on the floor, that might be easier. So this one is the third book of British Birds. Three pounds, this one. It's gorgeous, isn't it? So, gorgeous. They've got several copies of this, I notice. Some seem kind of with different covers, so maybe they're from different dates, different editions. Inside the pictures are kind of all the same. So they're absolutely lovely. So there's those. They've got here garden flowers. I think I might already have this one at home. This one's three pounds. This is lovely, isn't it? I might not have this actually. I've got, um, I think it's the wild flowers one. Not sure what other ones I've got. Let's have a look. Got the story of ships. Oh, butterflies and moths. I mean, this one obviously looks a lot newer. This one's two pounds fifty. I can't see a date on here. Oops, it's got some lovely images there. So if, um, Oh, and the gorgeous blue tip there as well. So that's a really nice one. Let's have a look. Churches and cathedrals. That might have some nice images. Story of our churches and cathedrals. This one's £2.50. Again, it's got some lovely images in there. I love the images of the insides where you kind of see all those vaulted ceilings and the pillars and things. They're just beautiful, aren't they? I really like those. 
Right, might move along to another section in a moment rather than bore you. Look at all these Beatrix posh books. Those shelves are full of just Beatrix Potter. Now these are what they call pictorial bindings and it's literally this whole this whole kind of section here. So if I just kind of pick something oh I don't know I'll just pick this one just at random just to kind of have a flick through just to kind of give you an idea. So this one's £4.50 Oh, look at these gorgeous images. Beautiful. Most of the images here are just on the kind of, um, you know, the regular pages. They're not kind of coloured images or anything. But it's a lovely book. I'll just pop that back. Let's see what other ones they've got. I'm trying to think what else would have some really nice images. Obviously I don't really know most of these books so it's just kind of, um, it's literally just, you know, guesswork and uh, a wing and a prayer really whether they kind of might have some nice images or not. This one's got no, no images. So I'll pop that one back. So this is another section. It's all of those little um, observers books. They've got hundreds of them, as you can see. So they've got all sorts of things. They've got trees and shrubs, cathedrals. I don't think this is really coming out that well. They're £3.50. I don't know whether they're different prices for each one, but they've got absolutely loads here. Flags. Oh, what else have they got? Just having a look down here. Oh, music. Nice. I wonder what's in these. Oh, look at this gorgeous book. So sorry about the glare. I'm not used to obviously um, doing this outside of, outside of the house. Oh, that's a cute little book. They're mainly kind of sketches really in there. But very nice nonetheless. Ferns, butterflies. This book of butterflies, this must be a slightly later one because the pages are less yellowed. Gorgeous images in there. Oops. Struggling to kind of pop them back. So, tons of those anyway. So, they're quite interesting books. They're moving around. They're all kind of really ordered nicely into sections. We've got interior design and things, we've got plays theatre, cinema, opera, composers, loads and loads of books, just an Aladdin's cave literally, absolutely gorgeous shop. And here's some sheet music, they all look quite new unfortunately, they, uh, they don't look especially kind of old and um, these are kind of like magazines, maybe. Oh, they look nice, don't they? Such a gorgeous shop. Thomas Hardy. I don't know what these are, but these look kind of interesting. Oh, look at these. They're nice, aren't they? Oh! Aren't these lovely? I haven't really ever seen this um, sheet music in kind of small sizes before. Unfortunately, the covers are gorgeous, you know, they're really aged and nice looking, but inside they're actually quite uninteresting. So uh, I don't think I will get any of those, but they were worth kind of having a little look. So I'll oh, have a quick squeeze around here. The floor's all uneven in here, it's such a gorgeous old building. Loads of books on architecture, I always love kind of um, buildings and architecture and things so they all look quite newish, I mean I think all the books in here are used but whether or not they're vintage or just slightly old I'm not really sure, this one's £12.50. 
overly many images inside it, unfortunately. So, put this back in a minute, I think. Oh no, I just managed to get it in there. What's this? A gardener's year. British Isles. It's ten pounds. Oh, it's a lovely book. But ten pounds is uh, quite a lot, isn't it? So I don't think I'll be getting that. Ooh, wayside and woodland blossoms. This one's gorgeous. I love these. They're in um, jackets, you know, like they do in the libraries. This one's five pounds. Oh my gosh, look at that gorgeous image. Oh, this is lovely. Oh, that is lovely, though actually these images aren't quite so interesting. I love this um, title page. Right, I'm going to be good because £5 is still quite a bit, isn't it, really? So I don't think I will be getting that one. Let me just have a look. Oh, there's a whole pile of these smaller books. So let's just have a look. Oh, look at this lovely one. £4.50. Oh, not many pictures in this one. Birds and eggs. Mm, not, not quite so nice. Oh, look at the house plants. I was just drawn to this beautiful cover. Isn't that lovely? Mm. These don't necessarily have so many gorgeous um, images as I'd hoped, so I might give those a miss. Right, nearly done. Oh, the fragments of wild flowers. Just drawn to this one. Let's have a look. No, beautiful cover, but not so good inside. Right, I'm going to probably leave it there, I think, unless I see anything else catches my eye downstairs, and then I'll obviously share with you guys as well. Right, just as I was kind of going to be heading downstairs, I did just quickly find these two. So I'm just going to quickly show you these. Um, this one is obviously an older one, but isn't it gorgeous? I love these aged pages on it. So it's lovely and it's got quite a few adverts in the front and the back. So it's a really lovely, lovely, lovely book. I have to say, yeah, very tempting, but this is £15. So I'm going to give that um, a miss. This one obviously is much newer, so the pages are much less aged. This one I think was £6.50. Um, it's got quite a few adverts, but it's not, you know, it's not got such lush, lovely kind of aged pages. So, but I just thought I would quickly come and show you that as well, because I thought it was really, really nice. Right, so <laughs> hopefully this is the last bit. I just wanted to show you these gorgeous books. This one is the Worthing and Di District Blue Book. And it's so beautiful. Inside, look at these gorgeous kind of adverts. I'm gonna pop it on the floor and by the door so people are kind of coming in and out of the shop. But look at this gorgeous book. It's just got all these lovely, lovely, lovely adverts and things all in it on this gorgeous colored paper. So this paper is actually pink. And then obviously it's got a kind of, I guess it would have been a bit like a telephone directory, but obviously there are telephone numbers necessarily but it's just a general directory of kind of um, businesses and things like that absolutely lovely unfortunately again it's 30 pounds so I'm not going to buy this one but I just wanted to share that with you because I just thought that was so beautiful and then they've also got kind of similarly I've got this one here again this is 25 pounds so I'm not going to get this but I've got some really fascinating books um, here they've got loads of these directories of funeral directors, would you believe? Um, yeah, so kind of very interesting. Then they've got a whole section here of kind of first editions. Again, absolutely gorgeous. Just tons of beautiful books. Just an Aladdin's cave. So yeah, if you're ever kind of over this way, definitely worth popping in and checking it out. Gorgeous, gorgeous books. Right. My, um, my trooper outside kind of obviously hoping I'm going to hurry up so I think it's time that I'm going to have to leave so I will catch you later. Thanks then, bye.
So in the distance, you can't really see it particularly brilliantly, but hopefully you can see enough of it. That's Arundel Castle. I have been inside it years ago. Um, you know, paid to go and have a look around it. It's a beautiful castle and it's still actually lived in. Um, you know, so many are kind of just ruins, aren't they? But this one's actually still lived in, so obviously you can't go and have a look in the part that's still lived in, but you can look around the rest. So, uh, and they've got beautiful gardens. So now we're off for a walk around the lake over here in Arundel. So we're nearly at the top. That's the lake down there. I don't know whether you'll be able to see it or not, but we've just obviously come up here. And my other ones are still on their way up. I'm just here with my middle son. What a stunning view. It's such a gorgeous day today. It's about 17 degrees and just beautiful. I will show you the view in a moment from up the top. So here we are, made it to the top and this is what's at the top of that steep hill that we just walked. Oh it's just gorgeous up here and obviously there in the distance those beautiful views. It's my son and my daughter if you can see them just coming up. My 16 year old that is and my five year old and my husband in the distance. Oh it's just such a glorious day. So we're going to chill out. 